So we woke up this morning and obviously what's in the headlines is about the whole Leicester riots and it's now escalated to Birmingham last night. Mm -hmm. So again, for those who don't know, there's obviously tensions rising in the community between you know the Muslim community and the Hindu community. Now, the story itself, for those who haven't followed, is al accusations have been made from one community to another about you know how one community is becoming like more right wing, more extremist, etc., and they're kind of you know enforcing their views on the community, and the other community is basically kind of kind of standing up for themselves and mm -hmm. saying that what they're doing is wrong and so on and so forth. And then obviously last night, um, the Dorga Mandar in mm -hmm. Birmingham, it was apparently attacked. Yeah. And then a video came out um, from the Muslim community saying that you know we haven't attacked it, we're peacefully protesting, etc. Like, have you been following this? Yeah, but it doesn't look like it was that peaceful looking at the stuff that's been going on social media and, you know, what's been going around. Do you know what? And, okay, social media is one thing, right? Yeah. And I think the, the Leicester kind of was it mayor kind yeah. of said that social media is making it look worse than what yeah, it is, et cetera, et cetera. And like, yeah. no one's actually been on the ground level to kind of talk to people what's happening, mm. et cetera, et cetera, right? But one thing I can 100% say is whatever side you're on, et cetera, right? No place of worship should ever be attacked. No, If it has been not. attacked, yeah. it should never be attacked. No one should go outside any place of worship and make, make people yeah. feel unsafe, et cetera, et cetera. Because that's a people's holy place and they, they, that's a place where they find peace yeah. and feel safe. And, and I think that's, we yeah. all need to bear that in mind. And if there is, you know, s small people in the community who yeah. are causing this friction of this kind of right-wing extremist views, et cetera, I think everyone needs to also remember this uh, minorities do not reflect the majority. Yeah. Yeah. Like what minority people are doing does not reflect the majority. And I think that's something that needs to be addressed as well because you can't associate that all Muslims are violent. You no. can't associate that all Hindus are Absolutely, violent. And yeah. they're claiming that, you Agreed. know, they're extremists, yeah. et cetera, because that's not just the case. I mean, do you feel like it is, it is to stem from India and Pakistan cricket match? Because I think that's, it could, I mean, like, it's not the first time that they've played, and it's and certainly won't be the last. Yeah. So, so that's what they're saying that it escalated from yeah. that. You know, that a group of you know uh, Hindu lads basically mm. jumped a Muslim guy and put him in hospital, broke his mm. arm, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Do you know what it is like? And yeah. I said, there's two things that from this, and I yeah. think that need to be addressed, and I think that it needs to be said, right? Yeah. Is number one, it's if you're peacefully protesting on whichever side you're yeah. on, like forget, for example, what the what they're protesting over. It's wearing you know hoodies. Wearing balaclavas, wearing scarves, yeah, and going around and basically doing what yeah. you're doing is not a good reflection for any media because mainstream media that looks is like, yeah, yeah you're mainstream going media to is going to grab it and they're yeah. going to make it to something that it's not, yeah, yeah, and they're making these TikTok videos and putting it out there when you're wearing balaclavas, covering your face, yeah. etc., and it's supposed to be a peaceful protest. That's Again, not peaceful. It's yeah. not a good look. It's not no. peaceful, and all you're doing is you're stemming into a narrative yeah. that the opposition side is basically doing. So if you're going to peacefully protest, peacefully protest. Yeah. And it's happened so many times in the past. I mean, we saw on the farmers' protest yeah. when, you know, mainstream me uh, media in India took certain p individuals and were like, they're extremists, they're this, we're that. And whereas the farmers' protest in London and Birmingham was a peaceful yeah. protest throughout. So that needs to be like, I think, 100% needs to be addressed. Yeah. And the second thing, and kind of what you're saying is, has it stemmed from the cricket but like I said, it's not the first time that they've played. So yeah. is, I, is, is there more to it than we know? No. If there is more to it than we know, right? And uh, what I'm going to say is like, if it is what they're saying that, you know, these BJP politicians are yeah. coming in and they're kind of enforcing this RSS kind of mindset on the youth, et cetera, et cetera. If that is the case, right, that is alarming, number one. Because yeah. for those that know the RSS and they know about all that kind of stuff, yeah. their mindset, et cetera, is... Okay, it's happening in India, but yeah. if it's spreading to the UK now, that's kind of alarming of like you could have this extremist, another extremist community coming for the yeah. ranks. But the second thing is, is, like you said, is, is there more to it? It's, and my thought of the process is, is how do we know that there isn't people at the top who are just mm. pulling the strings, instigating this and letting, you know, letting people run in yeah. their name, in their vision and causing this commotion mm. for another narrative? Because going by the scenes that we saw, again, social media can be distorted, but it looked... Scary, just seeing that. Yeah, like I, I remember it was a Saturday night where like there was yeah. literally a group from one side, then mm. there was police, and there was a second group, yeah, yeah, and yeah. then there's a third group, etc. Mm. And the thing is, it's being instigated by people who probably aren't even there. Yeah, it's being instigated by people who have their own narrative, who have their own agenda, and yeah, definitely all it's doing is just putting all Asians and South Asians under a bad light. 
because it doesn't matter if you're from the Hindu side, it doesn't matter if you're from the Muslim side. Yeah. All you're doing is, and the people at the top probably know what they're doing, instigating this trouble is causing the further, like obviously as a community we're divided enough as it is. Yeah, they're causing 100%. further division. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And if you've got these kind of individuals who are coming brainwashed and they're kind of believing in this narrative of, you know, extremism, et cetera, yeah. et cetera. Yeah. You're just, all you're doing is you're causing more segregation in your own community and you're causing more hate. And the thing is, they might not get affected, the ones yeah. that are like protesting, et cetera, but it's going to hurt more yeah. when those innocent kids going to school get it. Because when kids get picked on, when kids get bullied on, when that old, you know, Brajog, where yeah, a Baba, yeah, where yeah, a yeah. Bibi, is at a bus stop and somebody from the opposite community attacks that person, yeah. that's when it goes beyond far. But do you feel like it was more the younger generation, the younger lot that were having these riots and causing this? All you can go is based on the images that you've seen. Yeah. And it seems that it is a lot of the younger generation. Mm. But then at the same time, you've got... But do they really understand, like, what is going on? They, for me, it looked like they were just going out to fight. I hate using that word, but, you know, they were going out to... Right, yeah. No, no. And I think that is a valid, valid point. But if yeah. you look at it again, right, it's whatever the situation was, right, it was, okay, this is the situation, yeah. this is where it's stemming, da 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 yeah. And then out of nowhere now, you've got videos from both sides, yeah. across TikTok, across social media platforms, where one side saying, we're going to do this to you, we're going to do this, we need to arm up, we need to get gathered, mm. da, da, da. and then the other side, da, da. and all social media is doing is pushing an agenda. And these people who are making yeah. other videos, it's, do you actually know what the initial spark is? Exactly. Do you actually know what's happening? Or are yeah. you just and, now and jumping it. on and, it? Yeah, and I feel like it's like a domino. Everyone's like, oh, well, we're going to go there, we're going to be here, and we're yeah. going to be you know, fighting, and we're going to be doing this, causing a protest. But it's not, it's not how we, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not how... We should be. Yeah, but yeah. look, regardless, man, look, we're going we're, we're to try and get people from both sides involved to see what they have to say because yeah. realistically, we want to talk to people who are actually involved, find out what's happening, what's yeah. going on. Because look, and the, a positive is, is uh, uh, like we spoke to a, lo a lot of the kind of mosque um, imams yeah. and leaders, etc. And they said to us, you know, they released a statement and they're saying that, you know, there should be harmony, there should be peace, you know, there shouldn't be kind yeah, of kicking 100%. off. A lot of the Mandar leaders are saying the same as well. So again, you know, if the majority is saying and promoting peace, yeah. uh, you know, love, etc., it's it seems like it's a minority that are causing this. Yeah. And again, that minority is causing a bigger spark. And it's kind of like, you know, a snowball effect. Yeah. When the snowball goes down the hill, yeah. it gets bigger and it just it And just that's takes... what I'm saying. I bet they're all like, face, you know, what's happening each other. Oh, by the way, did it, you know, huge groups just yeah. coming out in masses. Yeah, yeah. but look, we'll see what, the, what you know, um, what happens. But hopefully it blows over, man, and... No, yeah, we can just all live in peace. Yeah, yeah. that's it.